you're trying to sell your home, but it's overpriced and it's not moving and you're not even getting showings. That's how you know it's overpriced. If you haven't really gotten showings in two, maybe three weeks, your house is overpriced. And let's be honest, open houses don't count as showings because sometimes you just have those neighbors coming along to take a look at your property. We're talking appointments booked. So what do you do? Well, that's what this session of two yeses and one no is all about. So the first yes you can do is, yes, you can drop your price to refresh the listing. You either cancel the listing and relist at another price, or you do a price change. Both are good because anybody looking in that area and the price range will get an email and let them know that there is a new price in the property and maybe they can point them. The second yes you can do is you can be really aggressive. When, if you're gonna drop the price, maybe you wanna do something that's like a bidding war or pricing strategy in which you list the price ridiculously low in order to get a lot of people to come take a look at the property and have an offer day. This way you'll see what the interest is like at that rid ridiculously low number and you get to see what the market's appetite is for your property and what they're willing to bid. Now again, you don't have to take any of those offers if they come in really low, but it's a strategy to get people to look at your home. And then one no I would suggest doing is no, don't just do nothing. Don't expect that the market conditions are just gonna change and somebody's gonna go poof, I think your house is worth this. The longer your house sits on the market, it has a stigma. People are gonna think something's gonna be wrong with the home. The other thing is that buyers won't show your property because they will think that you may be unreasonable since you haven't dropped a price. There's no way you're gonna you know, budge on the price. Your your head is out in the clouds, your house is not worth this, etc., etc. So I would never not do something, especially if your house has been sitting, you know, two, three, maybe four weeks without any showings. It's time to do something about the listing price.